Hello everybody, Crash Bandicologist here, and back with another video. And what type of video we're we making? Well, if you guessed it, on the title of the video, we are going to be unboxing Crash Team Rumble Happy Meal Toys. I have been talking about the Crash Team Rumble Happy Meal Toys ever since, I believe, March of 2023, where I speculated in kind of figured that just because McDonald's or Crash is following McDonald's that we could gotten a Crash Team Rumble promotion at McDonald's. And I gotta be honest with y'all, I was right. And I didn't expect it to be right. Um, however, let's try to unbox each Crash Team Rumble Happy Meal toy, starting with number one, Crash Collector Card Game. And um, I'm gonna try to unbox it. And uh, let's see what's inside this Crash Collector card game. And I got a funny story to tell y'all. When I um, first got the Crash Team Rumble Happy Meal toys, the lady that was ringing me up for the Happy Meal, she was saying that I looked familiar. And I thought that was like a really interesting thing because she was like, oh, you look familiar. Uh, you're more of a, you look like the Crash guy that um, talks about Crash on YouTube. And I was like, oh wow, you really know me. So um, now we're going to look at the Crash Collector's card game. In the rules it says, game instruction, Crash Collector card game. Setup, player one, split card deck into two even piles face down. The pile on the right is the player's deck. The pile on the left is the challenger's deck. Play. At the start of each turn, the player picks a category. Relic, gem, or wumpa fruit. The player flips over the top card from each deck. Whoever has the highest number for that category wins the two cards and sets them aside. If the numbers are the same, the cards are put back under each of their piles. Win. Once all cards are used... The player counts up the number of cards won by themselves and the challenger. See how many times you can beat the challenger. So it feels like, like it seems what I'm understanding is that it's type of player, player, player. And it's, I think challenger cards are like gem pads or wumpa fruit. Oh no, I think it's. It shows on the cards how many relics, how many gem pads, and how many wumpa fruit each card has. Like for Daring Dingo Dial, it shows 70 wumpa, 70 gems, and 80 relics. So you would probably get more relics and then get the same amount of wumpa and gems that you've gotten. And let me just show off these cards just to... Um, see what these cards look like cool coco she got 70 relics 60 gem pads or 60 gems and then um 90 wumpa so i'm assuming that each card has a different type of like percentage on the gem pad boosts and then 70 relics or like different types of relics different types of wumpa and different types of gem pads so let's look Adventure Coco, so that one has 60 relics, 60 gem pads, and 100 wumpa. That's really interesting, because Coco can only carry 90 wumpa on Crash Team Rumble. But um, this isn't Crash Team Rumble the game, this is Crash Team Rumble's McDonald's collector's card game. And from what I'm believing, I think... McDonald's is still selling the Crash Team Rumble toys. If not, then, um, oh well. I know that this, um, I know that these Happy Meal toys are only exclusive to the United States. Sorry for all the people that don't have all these Wumptastic toys. But, um, let's keep looking. Silly Dingo Dial. We're, we're just not going to look at how many um, Wumpa, how many Relics. We'll just show it on the video. Uh, Silly Dingo Dial. 
Blocky Crash, Dr. Neo Cortex, Wacky Crash, Clever Crash, Sneaky Crash, Action Crash, Wumpa Crash, Cool Cat Bat, Dr. Entropy, which I'm still surprised that the regular Dr. Entropy is in the Happy Meal toys, considering that Dr. Entropy is not even in Crash Team Rumble. Well, female Entropy is in Crash Team Rumble, but male Entropy is not. So I'm hoping this is actually uh, a hint that Dr. Entropy will come to Crash Team Rumble in Season 4 or Season 5, who knows. Blocky Dingo Dial. Dr. Nitrous Brio. Dr. Engine, I'm in a Happy Meal toy. Blocky Tana. Blocky Entropy. I'm going to call these the Minecraft Entropy and uh, Mi uh, Minecraft version of these characters. So Minecraft Embryo, which I'm really hoping that Crash Bandicoot actually becomes like DLC for Minecraft. Evil Dr. Cortex, Victory Tana, Swinging Tana, let's take a look at that, Aku Aku, Quick Coco, Entropy, not Dr. Entropy, just regular Entropy, Blocky Dr. Neo Cortex, Blocky Cat Bat, Brave Tana, Smiley Spyro, Speedy Spyro. So those are all of the collector cards. And if we were gonna play a two player match, I'm assuming that whoever has the most Wumpa or Relics or Gem Pads, like whoever gets the most points wins. So I think that'll be an interesting game to play like with like your buddies play crash team rumble or even like you have a group of friends i forgot to put this back real quick and then we're about to open up our second our second um happy meal toy which i'm actually really excited to play um to see what that's all about all right next toy crash's memory card game Let's see what's in here. I mean, I've seen it, but I, I just want to show y'all what it is. Let me just see. I've been, <laughs> I've been collecting these. Crash's memory card game, and it's inside uh, a tin that has Crash's face on it. And if you look in the back, Crash Team Rumble. All right, let's look inside. Crash's memory card game. So let's look what's in here. It says setup number of players one through two shuffle the cards and lay them face down. The youngest player goes first. <laughs> they want to make the younger sibling go first because they know they're going to get their butt whooped. Just playing, just playing. Uh, but let's look play on each turn. A player turns over any two cards one at a time. If the player finds a match, they keep the cards and take over, take another. So this is just pretty much like memory match. If the cards do not match, the players turn the cards face down and the next player goes, wins. The person with the most pairs at the end of the game wins. So this is just Crash Bandicoot memory match. So let's look at, let's look at these. Let's look at these cards. I'm trying not to tear that thing open. Kind of want to keep that. And then let's look. There's Crash. There's another Crash. There's a Dingo Dial. Another Dingo Dial. Dr. Cortex. Another Cortex. Spyro. Another Spyro. Tana. Another Tana. And Coco is the last character. So I think this is really unique that we're getting all these cool, unique Crash Bandicoot mini games or not even like called mini games but like board games 
because this is technically all made out of paper, that this is a great way to introduce Crash Bandicoot to a younger audience. So a lot of people who see Crash Bandicoot at McDonald's, now they're going to know who he is and what his franchise is. And that's actually a great way to make newer fans for the Crash Bandicoot series. So that's Crash's memory game. Pretty much memory match. Just leave that over here. Now time for the next toy. Next one, Spyro's memory card game. So I'm pretty sure it's like Crash's memory card game, but except it's with Spyro. So let's look in here. I'm so excited to open all these up. All right, it's exactly like Crash's memory game, but except it's with a steel bin and it shows Spyro's face instead of Crash's. And back, Crash Team Rumble. All right, let's just let's look in here. I'm pretty sure that the rules are exactly like Crash's memory game, but let's just keep reading and just make sure. Also, forgot to show the, what's in the back. Now you guys know. All right, so let's look. Setup of number setup. Number of players, one through two. Shuffle the cards and lay them face down. The youngest player goes first, of course. This is just pretty much what we've read before. So let's just look at the cards. And let's just see who is next. Okay, Crash, Coco, Aku Aku, Catbat, Embryo, Tana, another Crash, another Coco, another Aku, Catbat, Embryo, and Tana. So this is, um, it's pretty much just Crash's memory game, but except it's showing different characters or different poses of the same characters that we've gotten in Crash's memory game. So that's unique. Can't wait to play this with some people that I know. This is um, a very unique thing to show um, younger, again, younger audience about the Crash Bandicoot franchise. And same thing for the Spyro franchise because both franchises rule. So I'm gonna push this to the side. I'm not gonna put it in the box. I'll take care of all that stuff once the video is over. I'm very excited to check what's the next toy and let's see what it is. Crash and Dingo Dials plush. I saw this at the display. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. And here's what it looks like. I really love this pillow because I made both Crash and Dingo Dial in Crash Team Rumble. And here's what it is. That's just what it is, pretty much. It's just a pillow. So let's show off the next toy. Number five, and it's Coco and Spyro's plush. I did not open this one yet. I got this before Christmas Eve, and I am super excited to see what it is. And here it is, Coco and Spyro. Look at them, they're so cute. Spyro looks like a cute little Chad. And then the, look, look, Coco, look at her adorable, ador adorable self. I would like to put this in my bag because I have enough like little figurines that I keep in my bag um, for like cool little displays, like my um, Crash Bandicoot little figurines from Hot Topic. And um, I could do the same thing for the Crash and Dingo Dial one. And I'm really excited to put these as my little displays. So that's really cute. I really love both of those. The Crash, Dingo Dial, the Coco and Spyro ones are really cute. So now it is Stack and Crash Challenge. This one looks really, really unique because it's in a rectangle shaped box this time. And let's see what's in here. I've seen the display, but I never really like opened this thing. So I'm actually really curious what's in here and what are the rules. So let's open all these. So 
Is there more stuff? Yep, there is. And it's like, I'm assuming it's like Jenga. Cause it's like stacking. Sorry, right, so let's, let's look in here. Here are the rules. Here's the back of it. Stack and crash challenge. Setup. Number of players, one through two. Why can't it be four players? It's whatever. Build two piece base and place base on a flat surface. Assemble spinner. Okay, here's the spinner. So it shows one, two, one, one, two, one. That's it. Is there more in the back? Yeah, there is. So, um,. I'm assuming you're supposed to get the spinner. And then I'm thinking the spinner is this. Is it? Because I don't know. I see all the characters. I see Crash. I see Coco. I see Dingo Dial. Cat Bat. Tana. Spyro. Male Entropy for some reason. I, don't, I still don't know why Male Entropy is a part of this McDonald's setup. Because it's like he's not even a part of of Crash Team Rumble, or at least as of yet. I don't know now, but eventually let's hope that he actually gets in Crash Team Rumble very soon. I don't even know how to set this up. So um, I'm assuming that you're supposed to like get like, yeah, I don't know how to set this up. <laughs> I wish they could have like had like a Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. I see it. So, you're supposed to Okay, okay. So, you're supposed to get this piece. I'm assuming that's what it is. And then you're supposed to put it on this piece. I don't know. Like, I, I honestly don't know. But, um... Huh. Maybe it's, like, involving, like, you're supposed to fold, like, origami. And then... You're supposed to, like... Do this? I... I think that's what how you're supposed to do it. I don't know. I could be wrong. No, 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 no. That's out. That's obviously not how you're supposed to do it. It's supposed to be like, okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see how you're supposed to do it. I, I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how you do it. And then you're supposed to do this. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. So you're supposed to. Rotate this right here, like that, and then you rotate it over here, and then that's how you make the spinner, is that you're supposed to get this in here, oh wait, 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 no, 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 I'm doing it wrong, okay. It's okay because it's all it's all in the process. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. You're supposed to do it like that. And then you're supposed to like spin it like oh, let me show the camera. So you're supposed to spin like like that. Okay, okay. That that's a little complicated. But besides that, that's how you're just supposed to do the rules. So pretty much the game is like if you get a one, but then my real question is, how do you know what's what? So, like, spin like that, spinner, I'm assuming, once it lands, I think that's a one. So, you get your character, put on here, that's how you do it. And then, spin again, blue, what's the next thing you land on? I got a two. So now you're supposed to get fit as many characters on here and make that make sure that they don't fall. And it's something like Jenga pretty much. So then two, 
to, this is actually pretty unique. I like that. I like this. I like this a lot. And then, so you're supposed to spin again. And if you, if it falls, then you lose pretty much. And I already lost because I didn't mean to make them fall, but that that's it. That's pretty much the stack and crash challenge. Pretty unique um, take on Jenga. And um, I really enjoyed the um, this um, Happy Meal toy. So now it is number, I think seven. And then number seven is Speed Puzzle Challenge. And what does this have? I'm just like very confused because it's like now we're gonna talk about puzzles. And let's see what's inside this Speed Puzzle Challenge. Oh my goodness, look at all these jigsaw puzzles. Oh my goodness. Like, look at all this paper. Well, these are board games. Well, kids, this is your first introduction to Crash Bandicoot. And how did you get introduced with Crash Bandicoot? It is pretty much puzzles and board games. And... And cute plushies like this. Oh, let me rotate my camera. Sorry, I just had to. My video kept getting cut off. So, sorry if um, there's a lot of cuts in this video. Surprisingly enough, it just keeps stopping for no reason. But yeah, I really like all these McDonald's plushes. Or like, not McDonald's plushes, but McDonald's toys that we're getting for Crash. And I'm really hoping that we get more Crash Bandicoot McDonald's toys or even Spyro the Dragon um, McDonald's toys. But let's look at the speed puzzle. So you can either play it with one or two players and it shows player one. Or it says how to play with one player only. Pick a puzzle challenge card that shows the puzzle you will make. Place the card in the gem pad it stand See how fast you could find the pieces of the puzzle and put it together. Play with two people. Youngest player picks a two-sided puzzle challenge card and puts it in the gem pad stand. Uh, where's the gem pad stand? Uh, I'm assuming this is the gem pad stand. Uh, I don't even know. Is that what it is? I'm assuming that's what it is. And I'm looking at the instructions and this doesn't even look like the gem pad. Gem pad stand. And then you're supposed to like do this. So you're supposed to make the puzzle while it's being stood on pretty much. Or am I doing this wrong? No, I'm doing this right. Doing this right. I don't even know. So uh, I'm looking. It shows that you need to use this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. You're not supposed to put the puzzle on there. You're supposed to put the card. So it shows what type of puzzle you're making. So like on the speed challenge. You're supposed to show this card, and then once this card is shown, you're supposed to find the puzzle pieces and build that character in that puzzle piece, or in that card that you're, that you're seeing. I get it. Like, if it's rotated, you're like, just imagine you're player one. I'm, this is player one's view. They see this card, and then they're supposed to build that puzzle faster than the other player. And then this is player two's view. They're going to have to build cat bat. And on player one's view, they're going to have the rebuild Tana. Okay, okay. I, I, I like this. I like this. So I'll read the rules. I'll keep reading it. Place the cards between players and go. Players will find and put together the puzzle piece to match the card facing them. First player to complete their puzzle wins. Play again using a different card. So this is pretty unique. My desk is full of McDonald's toys and I'm 
not really complaining, but at the same time, I'm going to have to clean up a lot of junk later. So for now, I'm going to leave all of this here because I'm just too lazy to like clean any of this up. But I'll clean up later once the video is over. All right, the last toy. And the last toy we're going to be looking at is Tana's Tic-Tac-Toe Game. And I like how in each Crash Team Rumble box, it always shows the Wumpa logo. So, just wanted to point that out. So now it's time to open this. I got a duplicate. Um, I'll probably give that away to um, a family member. But, um, let's look at this. It's in um, steel thing again, just like how we got the Spyro. And then we did the same thing for the, let me show it off, for the Crash. So now we got all three. It's Crash, Spyro, and then Tana. I think this is really unique because I like collecting these. And these are really good to like keep them in your room. Or if you just want to play like a board game with like certain your friends. So this is Tic-Tac-Toe. But this is actually really unique because you're going to be collecting all these and it's very, very cute that you get to see all these, these crash characters being um, displayed as little board games. So um, let me find the rules because obviously read the rules before you play. The rules is right here. So let me just open this up and let's see what it says. Let's look at the back first. Wait. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it is. It's the same thing. Okay, so let's read. Play. Player 1 will use the crash tokens and player 2 will use the spiral tokens. Players will take turns putting a token in an empty square. When the first player to get three of their tokens in a row, up, down, across, or down, uh, diagonal is the winner. If no one gets three in a row, clear the board and start again. Okay, that, that's actually pretty, it's just regular tic-tac-toe. And I like how they're putting Tana's face on uh, tic-tac-toe. And I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is another way of playing. So then, oh, that's why it's facing it up. Okay, okay. So let's read this one. Target game. So, that's why I'm like, this is, this is pretty unique. Okay, I like this. So it's, player one will use the crash token, and player two will use the spiral token. Place take turns tossing their tokens onto the target board, aiming for the highest number targets. Win. The player add the total numbers of the targets they landed on. Player with the highest total wins. So this is pretty unique because... When I think of a target game, I think of Super Monkey Ball and um, the monkey target. So we're going to do the tic-tac-toe game first. So let me just show that off real quick. So I'm going to have to open these. You're going to have to do that like that. And each player gets, I think they only get like, f oh, no, 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 never mind. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six, you only get six of the Crash and Spyro tokens. And I think it's really unique because look at all this, more paper. All these games are just paper. They don't call them board game for nothing because it's all made out of board. So we're going to play the tic-tac-toe game first. I'll try to show it off. So let's rotate that. So player one gets crash. Dang, this paper is actually really still on its creases. Then player two gets Spyro. And it's pretty much just your average tic-tac-toe game. Hold on, let me just... Gotta crumple it up. 
because it's actually like not really that flat. So let's just put them back where they went. Put it like that. You gotta stop, gotta stop the player from trying to get three in a row. And then you see, bloop. And then, boom, you win. Like player one wins. That's how you play Crash or Tana's Tic-Tac-Toe game. But now it's time to play Tana's Target game. And then you can just like throw them like that. Bloop. Crash gets 10. Bloop. Spyro gets 5. Bloop. 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 And pretty much just whoever gets the most points wins. So this is pretty unique. I really like all these Crash Team Rumble games. And if you guys are wondering, look at all this. Look at all these games. And I also got the Happy Meal box because, you know, I got to keep it for the collection. And if you scan this code right here, you will play a Crash Team Rumble hide and seek game, which I think that's really cool. And that's pretty much the video. If you guys really enjoyed watching me unbox the Crash Team Rumble Happy Meal toys, I would consider to subscribe to the channel, and I will try to make more Crash and Spyro content in the future. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.